Um, yeah, why is it so expensive to send something into space? Um, well, let me tell you what makes a rocket hard. Uh, it, it, the, the energy and the velocity required to get into orbit it is, is so substantial uh, that compared to, say, a car or even a plane, uh, the, you, you have almost no margin to play with. Typically, uh, a launch vehicle will get about 2% of its liftoff mass to orbit. So, and, and that's the case for, for Falcon. And so if you can only get 2% of what your rocket weighs to begin with to, to orbit, uh, you, you can, you, if you're wrong by 2%, you're not going to get anything to orbit. <laughs> you know, come crashing down in the Pacific somewhere. Um, so um, th that means all of your calculations have to be right. If, if, you, mis if you miscalculate something, you get an answer wrong, it blows up. Um, and, and it's very expensive trying to get all your answers right and then double checking that they're right and testing them all and doing as much as you can on the ground. I think that's a lot of what makes rockets expensive. Um, the low launch rate typically is also what makes rocket ex rockets expensive. If you had, you know, thousands of flights a year, then it would be a lot cheaper. Although it's a bit of a chicken and egg because it needs to be cheaper in order to have thousands of flights a year. Um, um, but at the end of the day, when you, in the final analysis, I would say that rockets really should be a lot cheaper than they are today. And, and I think um, the way that they're built, the way they're operated, is just very inefficiently. Uh, and I, I think with, with SpaceX and Falcon, we're going we're gonna to show that that's, that's the case. Um, our vehicle will sell for about $6 million a flight. Uh, that our nearest competitor is the Pegasus from Orbital Sciences, which is about $25 million a flight. And that has less capability than our rocket. Uh, so uh, Falcon will represent a pretty substantial breakthrough on the cost of access to space.